Okay, so moving on to the second principle. This is important to think about living in time expansion versus time condensed. So this is where you're gonna find your wasted three to four hours per day. We're gonna get really technical here on the different ways to manage and think about time, to chunk your time. So this timeline here is the key to harness, bend, and expand your time. This is what I did with my coach and it completely changed my life. So on the left-hand column, we have your life priorities, right? The things that are important to you that you want to put time and energy into in your life. You know, your family, your connection, having abundance, having joy, having good nutrition, being active, having a peace of mind, whatever are your priorities you would put, you know, on the side axis. And then we want to look at the timeline. So notice here on the left hand side is the space called the time condensed. Now this is when things are urgent, they have to get done. And really this is when we're living in life in a reaction mode. Essentially we're responding to things as they come up and as they're necessary to attend to. So like for example, answering the phone when it rings, emails come in so we quickly type a response. Oh, it's time to pick up the kids, school's out, gotta go. Um, my son broke out in hives. Oh my gosh, got to take him to the pediatrician, right? So it's like everything we do in this time condensed space where it's urgent is in a reaction space. And let's be honest, most people, not just moms, but most people live almost all of their life in this space, simply reacting and responding to the things that are most urgent on the list next. And yes, of course, we put time into our priorities, things like family connection and activity and things like that yet we do that in a urgent responsive reactive type of mode and just before we move on to time expanded i want to recommend that i didn't put it on this this sheet but there is a whole nother category that's really below that's not even one of the life priorities necessarily yet it is something that is worth mentioning and this is an area that is, like I said, not even affirming your priorities in life, but they also feel urgent and like a need. Where these are things like addictions. This is like trolling on social media, right? Just getting trapped and kind of losing and wasting time when you're just on it constantly. Constant worrying. Believe it or not, worry is an addiction. So when we find ourselves being a string of negative thoughts going through our head over and over and over like a tape, that is an addiction or even wine, right? Like feeling like you need to have that glass of wine at the end of the day. That again, is not adding affirming value to your life, yet it feels like an urgent need. And those things are things that we haven't even put on the line. And that's not to say that this is a judgment because I've been there and I've done all of these things. However, it's just to shine a spotlight on how our time is being spent and what is it adding or not adding to our life. Okay, so now moving to the right part of the line, these are where the things that are, oh my gosh, so important in our life and they are time expanded. So these are the someday projects, right? The things that you say to yourself like, oh, someday when things settle down, I'd like to commit to a fitness program. Or someday, yeah, sure, I'd like to hire a coach. Someday I'd like to write a book for my business or whatever it is, those big projects that you're thinking to yourself like, oh yeah, eventually or down the road. And these things are what are the game changers for moving your life into a new trajectory. So what we're going to be talking about here is the importance. This is what I work on with all of my clients is starting to create a shift between having all of our time on that left side. That's called stasis. When time is on the left side and we're in response and reaction mode, we will continue to stay there until we intentionally create a chunk of time for evolution. So, it's really important to think about how do we unleash the power of and the potential of our time through intention and trust. And you do that by carving out a chunk of time and then moving it towards that evolution box, that right side. 